computer. So as you're joining, I'll be going over a document that I sent you. This is Ellen. I sent you an email about 45 minutes ago. You don't have to have it open, but if you like to look at it your very own self, you could open it at the same time. So this is what it will feel like on Tuesday, but there's about 150 people we will be on. So it'll, it'll be this for probably a good five minutes as people are coming on. Emily, Janae, and I really appreciate that y'all are coming on promptly. <laughs> it helps relieve our, uh, it will definitely on Tuesday help relieve our anxiety that we have enough people in all the rooms. So it's good to see the faces as they come in. It's also just exciting to have this many people all here to support students. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Okay, how many more are we waiting on? One, two, three, four, five. We've got 15, 16, 17, 18. I would say there's probably three more people, but I'll, I'll do a few things and then I'll get started with the main part. So, so some of this today, I need you all to know that will be a little bit of our training as well. So you're gonna see some sidebar conversations going on between Ellen and Janae and myself, uh, just because we wanna ensure that Tuesday's gonna go smooth as silk. So um, Ellen, one thing I need you to know is that uh, we cannot pre-allow these moderators to record we have to do it once they join so when it comes to tuesday if they can all come on that 10 or 15 minutes early that's going to be imperative so we can have everything slotted correctly okay great okay well, i um so emily because some of us are just names on an email so far emily who are you and where are you Oh, my name is Emily Meisner and I work for the Economic Development Alliance and I am co-hosting this event with Janae and this is our second attempt at this. Oh, second successful thing that we're going to do. How about that? Janae, who are you? <laughs> uh, Janae Hunterman, last year when Emily and I did this, it all started because of one cup of coffee between strangers and Emily and I are no longer strangers. Uh, when we did this event in February, I worked primarily solely for Animus High School, and now I am in a new role um, to the Business Education Connection, where I'm doing work-based learning for Animus High School, Big Picture High School, and Durango High School. So it's super exciting to be expanding my reach to multiple schools. I'm super thankful for Emily and Ellen. I'm Ellen Babers. I have Mountain Mesa training, and I am the volunteer coordinator. So. Um, along with Janae and Emily, I emailed a lot of you to say, please, please come help. And we're so very thankful that you have. Um, some of this I think you already know, but we're just going to go through the basics. So raise your hand, literally raise your hand, if you have done a Zoom call before where you've been in charge of it. Okay, yep. I, I see some uh, experienced people up there showing their thumbs. That's great. Raise your hand if you've been part of a breakout room before and have been through the wormhole and back into the main, main uh, room. Okay, so we're gonna practice that today because um, it can be a little disconcerting at first. Raise your hand if you have recorded what you've done before because that'll be a key part of what we're doing. Okay, here are your resources. Um, because you might like them in very various ways. We're going to do this recording. We're actually going to physically practice. This should take about 30 minutes. Um, we also sent you an email that goes to a Google Talk, and it has the agenda for today, and then it has links <laughs> to 
to very cleverly crafted examples of how do you do these things. And you'll see Janae's eyes as she's pointing to what you need to be pointing at. So if you need to practice on your own afterwards, there's that as well. Um, or you can you know, print them out and have them with you the day of. What I'd like you to do right now is look at the bottom of your video and see where the record button is. You'll see a, a light green screen share, and then you'll see a record on the right. One of the things you're gonna do is record your sessions. So Emily, you want to, them to record starting now, all one, or do you want individual ones? Emily, you're, on you're muted. muted. We should make a game out of that where you have to like buy somebody a drink every time they talk. <laughs> Muted. <laughs> Actually, when they go into the breakout rooms, you'll all be going into a breakout room and you'll be allowed to record. So when you go into that breakout room, um, I want you to record. I, and then are you also going to tell them we want them to use the chat function? I've got it all. I just wanted to know right there. Okay, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to walk you through a few things you're going to practice with me. And I am going to keep it not as a major one, but just as a like this so I can still see your faces. So can everyone see this? It says Zoom reminders. All got right. It. So the first thing that we're going to practice right now is mute and unmute. We won't practice stop video. One of the things you'll be telling the kids is we would like them to stay on mute, but we would like their video to stay on unless their um, bandwidth doesn't support it. So everyone right now, please come off of mute and say, I got it, and then go back on mute. Got it. 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 All right, thank you. The next one is, you're gonna take a little attendance of who's in your room. So if you look at this, the participants, find the participant button on your screen, click it, and a chat box will come up to the right. It looks just like the chat box. It'll be a white box to the right that looks a little bit like this, and you can see all the participants. Practice taking a screenshot of those participants. Um, if you're on a Mac, I can tell you how to do it. If you're on a PC, I'm sorry, that's not my specialty. So, Do we want a screenshot of just that box or do we want the whole screen? I think just that box. You can also do a screenshot of all the faces. Be uh, yeah. It will work. Because if, how many participants do we think we'll have? Because if it, the box is, you have to make sure that you expand your box so that it's long enough to have everybody. Right. I think there should be um, less than 10 people in each room. Okay. The trick will be if you're on a phone or a smaller device, um, you might be able to get this box, but if you try and get all of the participants, they may be wrapped around and you may have to take several screenshots. Okay. If you have questions as I'm going through this, what I'm going to ask is that you unmute and say, got a question, and then ask it. So any questions for the participants part before I move to chat? I have a question. Yes. OK, I'm not on a Mac. How do I take a screenshot? <laughs> do, do you have a Clip It tool? You hit Windows Shift S, Windows key Shift S. Uh, it will pull up. A All right, it says draw shape. Got it. Yep. So you can just draw it right around the box, and it'll it'll okay. save it to your clipboard. All right. Thank you. We know you were part of the training today, did you? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Let's practice with the chat box because I want you to open the participant box and the chat box at the same time so that you get used to seeing, oh, well, where did it go? Where am I? So if you click the chat box, again, it will show up on the right-hand side. And I want you to practice by typing in a message. It can say anything. It, nice, but it can say anything.
You guys are all so cute. <laughs> Okay, great. All right, I'm gonna move on again. So I'll tell you what just happened to my screen is I opened my chat box and now it's right in the middle of everything else. And so I have to move you as people around so I can grab the top of the chat box and move it out of my way. That could happen to you too. So just letting you know. Okay, the last thing we're not gonna try yet, but I wanna tell you about it and then we'll try it once you are in your breakout room and that's recording. So look down at the share screen and you'll see a recording button. And you'll click that when you go into your room. And in the end, what we hope is that everybody has three separate recordings. And if it ends up that you have one long recording, we're still gonna love that too. Um, we are using these recordings, particularly of the professionals introducing themselves for the schools to use later. So for example, Cortez cannot participate on Tuesday, but they'll be using all those in their enrich, not enrichment, but their um, whatever it is, their advisory classes to go through all the different um, professions that are out there. So we'll ask you two things as you send in that recording. One is, um, you know, which room you were in when you send in the recording and also which session you thought had the best introductions. So if you look on your, um, on your screen right now, you may see a little record button with the red button blinking. Um, Janae, can you say where it is on your screen? Because um, I've moved my screen around to share this. It's my top left and it's a red button and it's not blinking and it says recording. And that's how I know that you are making a recording of this. Right. Okay, I'm gonna stop the share. No, I think I'm gonna go on one, one more. <laughs> okay, along the bottom, there's another button that says, ask for help. I don't actually have that right now. I'm not sure, Emily, it, is it set up? It, right. it is, but only when you get in your breakout room. So you're right. gonna see that when you get in your breakout room. Okay, so let me tell you about this and then we'll practice it when you're in your breakout room. So there's a little button, it'll be right along new share, um, record all of those and it says ask for help and if you get stuck if something is going wrong and you need help you hit that button and it's a like asking the flight attendant to come and emily or i will come into your room but a couple of different things can happen so you ask for help and this is what comes up a little pop-up button that only you can see not everybody in your room can see says you can invite the host do you want to Yes, you click on it. And then one of two messages happens. Either it says down here, the host is currently helping others, please try again. Not very encouraging, but truthful. Or it says the host has been invited. And then after about three seconds, what you see again is this invite host. And so the first couple of times I did it, it was like pushing the button on the, um, elevator hoping it would come. I kept pushing it again and again and again and then I realized Emily was probably tired of me asking for her. So once, um, once the host arrives in your room, you get this message that says the host is currently in your room. Now when you talk to that host, you'll have to, the other people in the room will know that you're talking to the host, but you'll stop and say, oh the host is here, let me ask Emily our, our problem or our question. We'll look at that when we're actually in the room. Okay, here was the participant. Um, we are gonna ask the participants, particularly the students when they ask questions, to put them in the chat box. But these are pretty savvy digital natives and so they may do some other things like raise their hand. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like. On the participant list, if I had raised my hand, you would see this little blue hand up by my name. And then, and these are my options. I see uh, lower my hand, raise my hand, mute me. Um, you as the host can, you will have the ability to lower their hand, but really what you probably wanna just say is, if you've got a question, you don't need to raise your hand, just put it in the chat box, please. That's what I'm paying attention to and move on. 
I don't think you need the rest of this, so I'm going to stop <laughs> the share and um, talk to you a little bit about what your role is overall. So you are um, you are the confidence giver in the room and the one that keeps the meeting flowing. So each of these breakout rooms are only about 15 minutes long. We want to start on time. We want to end on time because all of a sudden Emily will move people to another room and you want to have finished the conversation or come to a good closure. You will have two to four. Most, most rooms have three professionals and each of them will give a two minute introduction. So that's taken up six to eight minutes already. And then depending on how engaging your students are, the rest of the time is going to go really fast or you're going to get to fill some of the time. <laughs> so what we're asking the professionals to talk about is, hi, my name is Ellen. I work with Mountain Ma Ellen Babers. I work with Mountain Mesa Training. I do training for supervisors and managers. Um, this is what my organization does. This is what I really do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, this was my pathway to get here. I needed an education, a further college education. I went to a trade school. I got a job right out of college and worked my way up. Whatever it is, the diversity is what we want the kids to understand. This is what I like about my job, and this is what I really don't love about my job. Then the next person will introduce themselves. You will say, um, so I might say, it's Kim, so it's your turn. And then I'll say, Annie, now would you introduce yourself? And then Elizabeth, it's your turn to introduce yourself. So I'll just do the little connectors. Um, and then I will say, now we'll take as many of the questions as we can, and I'll be looking through the chat. The questions may or may not be in the chat. So one, some of the things you can do is compare and contrast. We have put professionals who have similar industries, but not necessarily similar jobs. So for example, in the energy room, there's somebody from oil and gas who does inspections. There's somebody from Shaw Solar who puts up solar panels. And there's somebody from LPA who is an energy distribution. All of them have somewhat similar and related jobs, but they're different. So you can compare and contrast. Or you could follow up and say, Elizabeth, that story about how you got that first job was really interesting. Tell me a little bit more if other people in your industry have a similar pathway. So that's your job to fill in. One of the things that we think we want to do is actually call the kids by name. So we'd say, Bethany, I see you've asked this question, da 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 da. The professionals answer it. And then I might say, Bethany, did you get your question answered or did you have a follow up question? Yes, no, and then we move on. Um, Towards the end, you'll get a two minute warning um, and it comes up, we'll practice this in just a minute, it comes up as a little green box that says, you know, we're about to close this room, wrap it up, and then you'll start getting a, a countdown. You don't want anyone to leave the room because Emily has it set up that she will place them in the next room. So you want people to stay in the call, you're gonna encourage them, don't, don't leave the room, just stay in it, you'll get moved. What will happen is your students will get moved. What we really hope is gonna happen <laughs> is that your students will get moved and you will stay there. So that's when you would close out your recording and then start another recording for the second session. Okay, I've been talking for a while, which is never a good thing. So let me ask, does anybody have questions? Unmute yourself and ask questions. And if not, Emily, do you believe you're about ready to put us in rooms and have us practice some things. Uh, yes, and I was just gonna answer your question, Annie. She says, will we, will we be given a handout of who the panelists are and do the panelists stay in your breakout rooms and only the students switch rooms? Yes, we will be notifying you ahead of time what room you're in, whether it be marketing or energy or what have you, and then who your panelists are. We'll send that to you on Monday. Uh, as soon as we're sure we have all the slots filled. And then, um, what was the other part of your question? I feel like I- The panelists, it. the panelists and the moderators stay and the students are the only ones who leave. Yes. Yes, and so you're gonna do the same thing three times. 
right, right. with new students each time. And Emily, I'm actually going to start sending out the emails tonight. So it'll okay. be an email that will be to you and your three professionals all together so that you know who's who. They'll go out over the next couple of days, but I'm starting tonight. Okay, we have another chat. Will we be officially starting the conversation with an introduction? Yes. Yes. Welcome. You're in the marketing room. And my name's Ellen Babers, and the three professionals we have are Marie Kim, Bethany Powell, and Hannah Birdsong. We're going to get just started, started in just a moment, but I want to go over some etiquette rules first. Da -da 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 -da. All right, let's get started with the panelists. And um, feel free to say what you do as well. This is your own little marketing opportunity um, to say, you know, my name's Kelsey and I work for The Hive. You know, I'm here for students and this is what we do. Feel free to put your own little career blurb out there as well. Yes. Yes. One other thing, um, I'm also going to send each room a message when you have five minutes left. And then I'll give you a warning and probably at 10 seconds when your room's going to close and you're going to get automatically moved to those who will get moved. Does that make sense? Okay, so Emily, I think we would like to start just by putting people into breakout rooms. When you, this is the first, the first uh, test. When you get into the breakout room, you want to start your re recording button on your computer. You want to open the chat box and the participant box. Take a screenshot of your participants and then talk among yourselves. Talk and chat among yourselves so you get used to what that looks like. So I'm going to say those again. Record, participants, chat, talk to yourselves. Okay. Emily, are you ready to send us somewhere? I am ready. Here we go. Through the wormhole. Okay, one thing I, I noticed is no one requested help. But oh. I, I believe everyone should be able to request help. Okay, we'll try that on the next one. I didn't give those instructions. I know. Okay, I, know. I just realized I didn't stop recording. So I'm going to stop recording. See if you need to do that too. And see what the message is that comes up when you do that. Okay, Emily, this time. Let's ask for help. Um, okay, I'm going to move a couple people out of the room and put them in a different room. Okay, 
My so again, when you go into the rooms, we'll, we'll practice the same thing. Record, chat, participants. This time you'll ask for help, but don't everybody push it on, you know, in the first five seconds because there's only one Emily. Um, and then the other thing I would like is in your rooms, have one person just continually ask questions on chat. It can be what day is it, you know, whatever it is, so that you get used to how it's a little difficult or, or get more um, uh, facile at just scrolling down and seeing what the questions are in the chat. So record, participants, chat, ask for help, practice um, watching the questions in the chat box. Emily, I think, Janae or Emily, do you want to add anything else to that instruction? Uh, let me check Bethany really quick. Um, so quick question. I, I just want to confirm that the only people leaving the rooms are going to be the students. So we'll, we'll yes. we will stay as moderators and as professionals. We'll stay in that room the whole time. Jeff, that is my sincere hope that that is true. That is what we I think believe. we can do. It. I think we can make it happen. If it doesn't happen that way, then hold your breath as you go back through the wormhole and pick up where you were. Awesome. I really like Ellen's trick of holding your breath through the wormhole. It's really fun. Before we all go through. <laughs> We could get all 200 of everyone to do that on Monday or Tuesday. That would be really great. We will change the atmospheric pressure of Durango. <laughs> and we can all, yeah, and we can all appreciate the, uh, your love of Deep Space Nine. It's a, okay. <laughs> um, okay, Bethany, you can record now. Will the moderators have a few minutes to talk among themselves before participants enter? Uh, probably not. No, because once you open the room, everybody moves. Yeah. But you can take that minute while everybody's getting settled in the room and, you know, straightening their chair or their hair or okay. whatever. <laughs> you just have to be a good, smart use of your time. Okay, are we ready for ding ding round two? Right, here's, here it is again, record chat participants take a screenshot of the participants ask for help ask questions in the chat and see if you can keep up with it okay emily we're ready to go Did somebody ask for help? Because Emily's here. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, but I know like, oh, it's really fast. There is that or somebody else. else asked. Yeah, Emily, you're busy. Okay, I gotta go. I, except, how do I get back out of here? <laughs> oh no. So notice in your chat box that the same chats that were there before will stay. So when you get new participants, your chat box. Hi, Joe. I'm just finishing a training. Can you give me five minutes? Thank you. Bye. Hello. I see you joined my with our help ask. Great. Yes, I did. Okay. Let me tell. So you. that's the only thing that happens when you do the help ask. It invites the host to come in and help. Right. Can't just ask some other question. And 
Oh, there comes the magic carpet. There she is. Okay, I gotta go end the breakout rooms. Okay, one thing I need you to know that automatically you will be muted if you move rooms. And that's just to keep the noise level down. So as you notice, as you come back to this one, everybody is muted. We did that on purpose so that when we move the students, there's not a lot of extra movement and all of that going on. Something okay. I noticed in my last group that I just like to point out, we're giving you a lot of instructions to do all at once, but when you're actually in there in a room, hit record and then start managing the people and talking and getting other people talking. And then once you have the mentors talking, then you can go through and take the attendance. You don't need to do that before starting. We don't want to like get in there and be nervous. I have to do all of this stuff before we can start. You can do it later. Good point, Janae. Um, and Again, this maybe um, I'm sorry if I'm telling you things you already know, but I want everybody to practice speaker view and gallery view. So if you look in the upper right hand corner of your black zoom screen, you should see either a box, a grid that's like nine boxes, or you might see three little boxes on the top and one big square and one is a speaker view. So if you hit speaker view, whoever is speaking or whoever's laughing or whoever is making noise will come in as a big picture and everybody else will be small. If you hit the gallery view, you get to see everybody at once. If you're on a phone, you get to see some of the people some of the time. That's how it works. So another trick that can happen, and it's a little bit hard, is um, when you're in a speaker view, sometimes you have to practice actually looking at where your camera is because if I'm looking at Elizabeth, can you see how I'm actually looking down <laughs> into the right of my screen? Particularly if you're calling on a student, so Elizabeth might be down there, it won't look like I'm actually looking at the student. So a little bit of practice looking straight at the camera, glancing quickly wherever you want to to get the names um, is helpful too. So um, that, I'm looking at my list. Let's go over the schedule, the whole schedule overview for just a moment. Um, why are we doing this? We're doing this. Pull that up and um, show everyone so we can follow along. Yes, I can do that. Okay. We'll email out copy. a copy of the schedule to you as well so that you have it in advance. Yeah, let me just, uh, Janae, why don't you talk for a minute while I pull it up, please? I have it, I just have to figure out where it is on my computer. Um, this is really cool that you're all here. Um. <laughs> putting me on the spot here. Yes. <laughs> I'll tell you that this, it, we were really worried about trying to pull off this virtually uh, because it is so much more um, interaction when you're live, but this is the best we can do in a COVID. So we're trying to make this as, as connectable as we possibly can. How's that, Janae? Thanks. This adult, I'm not sure who had more fun last year. The adults really enjoyed talking to the students and the students were pretty, um, I would say eye-opening eye event for them because it's not, um, it's, Can they just don't know what all the different um, jobs out there are. So it looks like I'm about to get booted off because the poll is coming up, so. Oh, sorry, no, I think, I think it just comes up in the middle, Ellen. Okay, so here's the event. This is really what we want to go over is we'll ask you not actually to be there at 10, but to be there about 950. Um, just log in a little bit early so that we know that you're there. We know that everything's working and Emily can go ahead and um, give you permissions to record and do all of that. 10 to 1025, you get to just take a breath and look at your notes and listen to the speakers. 1025 starts the first of three rounds. At the end of the round, um, round three, everybody will go back into the main room and then you can sit back and relax at that point too. From 11 
uh, 15, adult, by 11.15, we will be finished, and Janae will have said kind of the closing remarks. But Catherine Keegan, who is from the Office of the Future of Work at the Governor's Office, will actually stay for another 15 minutes for anybody, most likely it'll be the professionals, but for anybody to ask questions um, and, and learn a little bit more. So that's that optional last 30 minutes. Um, this is the document that you were sent. It's a Google Docs. If you click on any of these, you get the great pictures. I'll show you one because I think Janae did such a great job. When she wants to explain where you look, there she is telling you that's how you record. This is what it looks like. So that's what those links are. My document's a little bit different. If you just link through, that's what these are. Um, I'm gonna stop sharing. Emily, do you wanna do the poll? And then let's ask um, if anybody has questions and let folks get back to their businesses, so. Um, yes, let me answer one question. Anne from San Juan College, absolutely. If you will just email me those two students or, or what did you call them, um, paid interns. I need their email so that I can pre-assign them like I do everybody. I will send you an email so that you have the information, okay? Um, and then Hannah says she won't be able to log in till 10. Hannah, is there any way you can just get your computer online? And Because that's all I need. I don't need your live body till 10 o'clock. I won't because I'm running a workshop okay. for the SBDC that morning from 8.30 to 10. So okay. I'll be managing that. No problem. Sorry. That's okay. I'll just make a note that I got to pay attention when she comes in. Okay. I can send you an email or text or something if that's helpful too, to let you know I'm on. Okay. That'd be good. Um, someone said they can't log in till 10.15. Who's that? Krista? Um, okay. I will watch for you. Let me just make a couple notes really quick. Hannah. Krista, yeah. when you come in, will you just leave, send a message directly to Emily on the chat box or something saying, Emily, I'm sure. here. Sure. And I just wanted to make sure, Janae, that, um, the DHS students may not be getting in until like 10.05. Yep. It's just our you know, schedule. We so. won't start right at 10. Okay. We'll kind of slowly start probably 10.02. Our first person will just kind of welcome everyone and then I'll welcome everyone. Okay. I bet Catherine Keegan will start talking right about 10.05. Okay, okay, thanks. Yeah, and, thank you. And someone asked, what do we do with the screenshots? What, did we hit that already, Ellen, that we those need to be emailed along with the recording? So please rename your screenshot with your room name. So it, yours might be marketing one. That's the marketing the first time we did it. Marketing two, marketing three. And then when you send the recordings, also send that. So here's the recordings. If you haven't ever recorded on Zoom, they go somewhere. But if you, if you search, file folder search for Zoom, it will take you to wherever they went. Usually it's in downloads. Um, if you've done it a lot and you've ever had one Zoom recorded, all of them go to the same place so you can find them again easily. But if you get run, run into troubles with that, send us emails afterwards and we'll help you find them. I did want to say, who's coming? So we invited everybody from Cortez to Pagosa, from Ignacio to Silverton. And Pagosa and Mancus could not come. Bayfield could not participate. Silver, students from Silverton, Durango High School, Animus High School, Big Picture High School, Ignacio High School are all gonna be on the call. And then, Bay, uh, sorry, Cortez is gonna take the recordings that we do and use them in a class later. So, pretty exciting. Other questions? Everybody good? Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you so very much for your time today and for your time on Tuesday. We really appreciate it. And I kindly invite you to leave. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank, Bye, thank you.
Bye bye. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. Uh, Okay, you girls good? I'm good. Yeah. Let me stop recording. <laughs>